now you, you, you put yourself on uh, a shuttle that's attached to a big rocket. So give me that first experience. Like that had to have been just insane, right? Yeah. You know, I, th I remember the shuttle main engines light off about six seconds before takeoff. And, um, I thought I had done a lot. I had flown F-16s over Iraq. I was flew Eagles and Hornets and all these fighter jets. And when I'm sitting there waiting to go and all of a sudden, <laughs> those engines light off and the computers check them out to make sure that they're working because here I got one. Once the big white engines here, the solid rocket motors, once they light, there's no stopping it. You can't turn them off. And so they want to make sure the three main engines in the back of the shuttle are working before you light off the big ones. And that sound, I remember thinking, holy crap, man, that is a sound that I've never heard before. Something significant is about to happen. And then bam. And you're, you know, that, that, on the launch pad weighed about 4 million pounds. So it is a big vehicle. Um, it's like a airliner. It's like getting on your Southwest airlines, only it's strapped to the, the terminal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, when the solid rockets light up, both of my launches were at four in the morning, but we had some clouds. And so as soon as the rockets lit, um, the reflection off the clouds, it turned nighttime in a day. If you get a chance, Google STS-130 launch and people put their, uh, home movies on YouTube and stuff. You can watch their home movies and watching that nighttime turn to day and everybody's screaming and cheering. Like it gives me goosebumps watching that. It was, it was so cool. And then you're smashed back. So that 4 million pounds of weight now has six or 7 million pounds pushing it. So, you know, you're accelerating. So it's like being in a supercar, you know, eight, whatever, eight cylinder Mustang or Ferrari or something where you go like that. Only in a car, you do this just for a few seconds and then you're at top speed. But in the shuttle, you do that for eight and a half minutes. <laughs> so you're, wow. you know, you're smashed back. Because it's and constantly getting faster and faster and faster. Your you, body you're constantly actually... accelerating. Yeah. So that basically the G forces, as you burn off fuel, you get lighter. So the G forces build up, you know, same force, less mass, you get more acceleration because F equals MA. So you get up to about three G's in both rockets. I think the Soyuz gets a little bit higher. The Soyuz is a Soviet ICBM that they took the warhead off and replaced it with the cap, the human capsule. <laughs> um, so that thing, the shuttle was kind of like this <laughs> majestic, you know, muscle car. And the Soyuz is just, <laughs> and you're gone. You know, it's designed for nuclear war. Um, and the it's just the acceleration, the shuttle, those big white solid rocket motors are solid rocket fuel, which it has a lot of vibration. So it's like your buddy grabbing you, shaking you as hard as he can, and you're under three G. So it's like having three of your buddies lay on top of you and smash you down. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, it's a it was an amazing the whole the first book I wrote, the whole first chapter was about launch. I got a couple chapters about launch in this how to astronaut book. Cause it's just, it's a lot of stuff happening in eight and a half minutes. And then at the end of it, you know, the, when the engine shut down, you're floating. So you go through this insane experience that you've never had before to all of a sudden you're weightless. And then you can see the earth for the first time, which I got some pictures I took here, um, which is just, you've, it doesn't matter how many IMAX movies you've watched or astronaut photography books you've seen. Um, it's just unbelievable. It, it's to see the earth from space is, I thought I was ready. I was an astronaut nerd. I had read all the books. I spent a decade in the astronaut office talking to my buddies about it, but um, there's nothing like seeing it, you know, that emotional impact for the first time.